hats off to you. Congratulations. Because how much did you put in the Series A and what is the reward? I think the Series A investment uh, back in uh, April 2008 was uh, the total round was about five and a half million dollars. And I think the company was valued, valued about 12 and a half million at the time. And you know, two venture firms put in uh, 2.75 uh, 2 million each. So it's valued at 11 and a half million dollars. It is now valued at 3.7 billion. That must be such a reward for you. And uh, how for, did this take you by surprise? How long was this? We understand there were talks with Cisco late at night in hotels. When did you get the offer on the table? So we actually signed the agreement with Cisco literally minutes before it was announced yesterday. Wow. So, uh, you know, we, we were really proceeding down the path to be a public company. Uh, and, you know, I think the strong belief within the company's management team and the board that this could be a multi-billion dollar business looking forward. And, uh, you know, Cisco and the company did know each other. And, uh, you know, a few days ago, you know, Chuck, the CEO at Cisco, uh, invited the CEO of AppDynamics over to his home. And that led to some very, you know, intense conversations, and uh, you know, with Cisco's management team, and uh, uh, and I think the, you know, and and the AppDynamics team, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, came to the conclusion that you know, merging with Cisco, you know, could really help accelerate the mission of the company and you know, gain market share much, much faster. If it had listed, do you think it would have got to a 3.7 billion dollar valuation anytime soon? You know, it's hard to really tell uh, exactly just because we didn't go public, but uh, the IPO roadshow was very, very strong. Within a couple of days, the offering was completely oversubscribed. So, you know, the best data we have is that if we had got public tomorrow, uh, it would have been a very, very strong IPO and would have likely traded up. So. I, th I think it's fascinating. I mean, you've been on the board of App Dynamics. In fact, Greylock helped this company grow, it was the first offices that were provided. They were working in Greylock with you when this company was first born in 2008. Do you, do you think, apart from the price tag, Cisco is the right way to go rather than listing? Uh, you know, I think, I think every company has to make uh, their own determination on whether they continue as a public company or go, uh, you know, or are acquired at some point in their life uh, cycle. Uh, I mean, Cisco is clearly a world-class technology company with, uh, you know, world-class, uh, you know, reach, a world-class management team, just incredible resources. So, uh, you know, I think Cisco can be just an excellent home for App Dynamics, uh, both in terms of extending reach for the product line very, very quickly, you know, across the world's largest enterprises, and also in terms of synergy, you know, with the infrastructure monitoring data that Cisco has. So combining, combining that data with the application and business performance data that App, App Dynamics has today can be really, really powerful looking forward. What does this say to the highly valued unicorns that are out there at the moment looking at the market, wondering whether to IPO, wondering whether to go to be acquired? Do you think this might put off others going public? Uh, I don't think so because I think actually, you know, uh, the indication uh, from the roadshow that the company undertook is that uh, the public markets seem to be very, very open and very receptive for, for the best technology businesses. Uh, I, was, I was in the roadshow, you know, the group lunch in San Francisco just two days ago, and it was standing room only. I mean, the room was full of public market investors. There was a very rich dialogue going on. So, uh, you know, just this morning, my email's full of uh, email uh, messages from a number of public market investors around the country just saying, hey, congrats, but saying, like, we, re we really wanted to kind of, you know, purchase stock in this company. And so now when you're looking at the money, you've just, I mean, you've returned your fund in, at then some, it would seem. Where do you next put money when you're looking at Greylock? What's the hottest thing? You've shown the way that you're, you're a right stock picker when it comes to yeah. it. Yeah, so you know, at Greylock, we're fortunate to have two very strong practices. One is the enterprise technology practice, and the other is consumer. Uh, I spend my time on the enterprise side, and on enterprise, uh, you know, really focused on the world's 20,000 largest companies, which is really where the world's IT budget lies. So uh, I'd say maybe just two themes I'd say that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm intrigued by right now is one is, uh, you know, just taking AI and machine learning and applying it to use cases, you know, that can be deployed in very, very large companies and you know, seeing value in that and customer and business value. And the other is cybersecurity continues to be an area that's very, very opportune. So continue to look at that area. 